When we started to move the pieces into position, the water levels were still very high in the creek. It was a good thing that we improved the footbridge with a second tree. The culvert sections are 20 feet each and about 150 pounds a piece. The heaviest steel parts were flown over on the cable while it was suspended on this side from the backhoe. The footers for support were poured last year. We stood the vertical brace up and secured it to the concrete footing. This is a concrete platform we put in for a cradle to support the pipeline midway off the hill. We secured it with anchors to the concrete. And it has an adjustable cradle to be able to adjust the height from the bottom up on the conduit. Our transit string gave us the proper angle of fall over the entire 125 foot span of the bridge. Where the pipeline exits the hillside, we secured angle iron to position the culvert union for proper alignment. Thimbles were installed with the appropriate number of U-bolts to secure the cable ends. Duct tape was used to hold the thimble as the cable was cinched tight with the U-bolts. The cable starts by wrapping around this huge rock. It is then pulled to the side by a second cable, which also is secured around another immovable rock mass. This enabled us to align the trajectory of the cable precisely over the top of the pipeline. With the cable aligned and the supports in position, it was easy to assemble the sections of culvert and connect them with culvert unions. This part went very quickly. We then put temporary support under certain points of the culvert which was hung off the cable with ratchet straps to provide adjustment. The catwalk was created from I-beams salvaged from a modular home which a friend was recycling for scrap. The I-beams were reassembled in a different configuration to make the catwalk. With railing poles welded on it, it was a full 44 feet long. This presented quite the challenge to move it up the hill. This was done with the backhoe hauling it up on a trailer which took a full day to complete. Once in place we painted the frame, installed 2x12 boards for a walkway, and used the overhead cable to fly it across the 44 foot span. The whole unit weight was a little under a ton, and it took a full day to get it into position. Unfortunately, I didn't get good footage of this process. Once in place, it provides a safe platform to assemble and adjust the vertical stringers, which will support the culvert. A large turnbuckle on the main cable will enable us to take slack out of it for adjustments of the vertical stringers. The catwalk is anchored to the concrete footer platform. Another cradle is installed to secure the culvert. I think we're going to be up With the catwalk done, it was easy to complete the assembly of the culvert. Again, the sections were put together with culvert unions, which had holes pre-drilled for the vertical stringer hardware. The culvert end was cradled on a strap above the buried end of the pipeline to allow us to install the rest of the PVC pipe 
inside the culvert. The PVC sections were assembled with a ratchet strap to pull them together, and duck butter was used to lubricate and secure the joints. They were then easily slid into the culvert. This took only a few minutes, and it was 120 feet of pipe. At the north end, we slid it to the correct length, and then cut the bell end off. This was so we could install a Fernco coupling, which will allow us to easily make repairs and is a potential breakaway point. Okay, lower away. On the south end, we cut the pipe to length and lowered the culvert into position. At this position on the pipeline, there is minimal water pressure, so the Fernco coupling should hold just fine and allow for some expansion and contraction. The cradle is positioned under the culvert, and we installed some foam insulation at the ends to prevent rodents and to provide a minimal insulation space around the pipe. So the pipeline is now complete from the weir intake across the 125 foot cable bridge. The ratchet straps used for building the structure will be replaced with steel cable and hardware with turnbuckles on each of the vertical stringers to adjust the level once it is filled with water. Overall, it is a very stable structure, which spans a wild and very changing creek. Our two biggest risks are if the bridge is struck by a falling tree, or if the footers should be undermined by a huge spring flow runoff. Now the pipeline and bridge are ready for testing, and the pipeline course has been reseeded to minimize erosion. This part of the project was the most challenging part of our hydro project, and we are glad to see it complete. Now it is time for final assembly and pressure testing.